chilly end of the march in London. London is full of snow. The Postal Museum today. This museum is not only new, it's also so popular that you have to buy tickets two months in advance. Not really, but if you want to ride a mail rail, then you do on the weekends. Stanislav says we need some coffee. It doesn't open. No? Oh no, it doesn't open. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this is the main building of the Postal Museum and now we are going to a separate place where the mail rail is supposed to be. Going underground. Mind your head. Are you going? Oh, it beeps. Hello and welcome to Mail Rail. You are about to explore some of London's hidden underground postal railway. I'm Andy, your guide today, and I'm joined by Ray Middlesworth. Hi, Ray. Hi. This unique narrow gauge railway was designed to carry mail, not people. So if you're feeling a little cramped, that's why. And although we have a driver today, the original mail trains were driverless. Carrying mail between main railway stations and sorting offices much faster than along the congested streets above our heads. It cut the journey time across London from a few hours to just 30 minutes. left leads to Liverpool Street Station. No, it's very dark. Ah, don't worry everybody. Just a power cut. Ray, can you explain? Power cuts happen from time to time when the railway was operational. We could draw power from the next station along to keep everything running. just as much. Alright, that was more fun than I was expecting. <laughs> Did you like it? Yeah, it was really fun. Is it comfy? They're pressing buttons. was the main museum building.
Okay, this was fun. Yeah, so the main museum, uh, the main postal museum is actually not that huge, but definitely to the mail rail. Mail rail was a lot of fun. Oh, what's that? Thank <laughs> you.